نحمد و نسلی اللہ رسول الکریم اما آباد وین ایور آئی ٹاک اباؤٹ اے نیو سسٹم دیٹ از برنگنگ این اے نیو ایجوکیشن ماڈل پیپل وڈ ٹیل می دیٹ دا اولڈ ایجوکیشن ماڈل از گڈ ون اینڈ آئی ڈو ناٹ آرگیو ود دیم آئی ٹیل دیم یس آئی ایگری دیٹ دا اولڈ ون از امپارٹنٹ بیکاز دیٹ واز واٹ وی وی یوزڈ فار اے ویری ایکسٹینڈیڈ ٹائم بٹ ٹو میک وے فار دا نیو ایجوکیشن سسٹم وی ول ہیو ٹو میک اے پیرل رن این ایونچولی شفٹ اوور ٹو دس نیو سسٹم دیٹ آئی ایم سو اینکشیس اباؤٹ If you look at our life, in everyday life, everyone is using a phone or some kind of mobile device that is fascinating them. They are making calls through them, they are sending SMSs, they are looking at different apps. And the same kind of um, revolution or the same kind of change has not been taking place in the education. Now, we know that uh, the amount of multimedia produced in one day is enormous. Uh, so much so that in the past times, even in 10 years, we couldn't produce as much material as we produced in one day now. To be unable to tap all that information that we see on daily basis, to, to be able to integrate it in a, in a way where we can manage and see the progress of the student, it has become ext of extreme importance. How can I use the online books, how can I use the video, how can I use the different images that I have got, how can I use all the literature that is out there in the form of papers, how can I integrate it all together, how can I use the various apps that are out there. There are apps on almost every topic. So how can I bring this together? This is a very important question and this is something that I work on. I usually um, look at things, go into their depth, do some research of mine, and then I uh, come up with a kind of solution where I would need a structure, I need uh, a delivery mechanism, I need to be able to control the devices, I should be able to uh, use or integrate the media that I have got. A lot of people would say that their curriculum is of this and that type and I tell them, look, I am not talking about curriculum, I am talking about the delivery mechanism. To make virtual education reality, we will have to begin with knowing how to integrate these various uh, uh, media that we have got, how to bring them together to, a to be able to manage education. Now, a lot of time we talk about management information system. But we rarely talk about managing the education. What do I mean by that? I mean to be able to monitor each and every kid in a classroom to ensure that no kid is left behind. How can I do this? Uh, I can only do this if I know where that kid is at, the parent, if the parents know where the kid's, kid is at, which level he is at. Um, if he has been doing his assignments, he's been doing his tasks, his projects, um, only then I can make a suggestion as a teacher, as a parent, uh, and as a student myself, if I see this is what I've been doing, this is what my progress is, then all three of them who are the major stakeholders can provide that right input which will elevate the kid. But how will this happen? How will I have control to the point where I know if the kids have started working on that assignment that I gave them? How can I ensure that all of them have turned in the assignment? How can I, and I'm talking about electronically, electronically, I don't mean traditionally. Well, if I can bring in a system which can ensure control of the device, which can ensure that the media that I have um, suggested have been looked into, that that all those different assignments that I gave them were taken care of uh, on time. If I have a mechanism, then anybody can see that no kid will be left behind. And this is the main question. So many schools have been spending a lot of money. So many, so many have uh, uh, endeavored to uh, uh, with, with experimentations. But I haven't come across 
any of those who have really understood of how to put it all together. And any school, if any school takes this first step and succeeds, I think that school will be the leader around the world. And that will become an example for rest to follow. I believe I can make this happen. I believe that it will require capacity building of the employees, that is teachers in this case. I believe that we will have to begin with the first small step and then walk all the way to the destination. Um, in another video, I'll talk about you know what specifically, what specific steps, what specific steps do we need to take?